so I'm making like a dessert grilled cheese type thing. There's not actually cheese in it, but there's peanut butter, banana, and then I have the outside edges buttered. Uh, to be continued. Okay, my sandwich is underneath there, cooking. If you listen really closely, you can hear it sizzling. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's episode of Disaster Quarantine Kitchen. I am your host, the reporter, formerly known as Scruffy McMustache. Joining me this evening is reformed fugitive from the law, turn internet sensation, quarantine gourmet extraordinaire, Wiki Fresh. Hello. I don't know what to call you if you're not scruffy anymore, but hello. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So I understand you're just uh, eating your dessert that you've cooked this evening. I am. It's uh, wrapped in a nice tin foil package from ironing it. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, here's my sandwich. Oh, wow. What did you make? So there's peanut butter and banana and chocolate inside. I'm pretty uh, excited about it. It's good. Mm. Put some bacon on there and you'll have an Elvis sandwich. No, thank you. No? All right. That sounds good to me. But if it doesn't <laughs> touch your boat, that's fine too. So you made a dessert sandwich using tinfoil and, and an iron. Uh-huh. What madness possibly compelled you to do this? Uh, I mean, dessert sandwich was a follow-up to a quesadilla and a grilled cheese and also pad thai along the way. So I decided it was time to open up my repertoire and diversify a bit. Okay, well, let's take a step back then. How did you get started being a gourmet in your own quarantine hotel room? Um, the first meal I did was just breakfast tacos, I think. I ordered some stuff on our online grocer here, and I boiled an egg, and I had lots of fresh produce, and it was pretty easy, and mashed up an egg, and I had breakfast tacos, and they were pretty good. Um, and a few people thought I was, like, crazy for trying to make real food in my hotel, and then I think I, I don't remember what I made next, probably the grilled cheese, but things kept working. And so I kept making it more and more like real food instead of just hotel food. And it became a fun challenge to try and do something new every day. Well, let's take a look at the tools of your trade because i'm not really sure that people understand the limitations that are facing some people here in quarantine so let's start by taking a look at what you are doing okay all right so what do we have here uh that's my tea kettle and i have some pasta that i cooked in there so this was for tonight's dinner tonight's dinner didn't turn out so great um, but I'm going to make some pasta salad also. Okay. Uh, the pasta itself actually turned out quite well, but the sauce that I attempted to make did not turn out so well. So is this the first thing that you started to use to cook when you were cooking the kettle? Yeah, I had the kettle first. I had to ask the hotel for the iron. Okay. Uh, shout out to DJ Mikey C for the idea for the iron. <laughs> He was the one who actually suggested it. And the iron has become the better tool because I can make things like crispy with it. Okay, before we get to the iron, let's just talk about some different things that you've made in the kettle. Um, I made, so one thing I actually do frequently in hotels is I boil eggs in kettles. It's quite easy. Um, so I did that right off the bat. Um, but I made the first night I made potatoes and broccoli in the kettle, both of which I just like dumped them in. And this kettle is easy to clean. Like I can get my hand in there easily. I've worked with kettles that are not as easy to clean and I don't know that I'd do that otherwise. Sure. Um, and, uh, and I also made eggs, scrambled eggs in the kettle with a plastic baggie and put it in the water and it comes out pretty close to scrambled eggs. So you just like scramble them, put them in a plastic bag, and then basically boil that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
it comes out really good. Might have to try that out. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to your next tool then. What you say is the better and more powerful tool, tool the iron. The iron. Uh, so I think in this picture, I'm making pad thai actually, okay. which was today. And that was my best meal yet. Um, I would equate this to camping. The way that I'm using it is like, if you've ever done like a tin foil pack while camping, sure. that's basically what I'm doing is I, I put all the ingredients and I grease up the outside edges so that it stuff doesn't stick too much. And I close it and I like kind of crinkle it around the edge and iron it until it seems done-ish and look inside and see if it's done. And if I, if it is, I eat it. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the things that you've actually done with this. I think this is the uh, first thing that I saw posted online from you was a grilled cheese. Yeah, um, I would actually say it looks better than it tasted. Something that happens with the bread a lot is it does get a little bit soggy. Um, I think that might be a product of it being white bread, though. I don't, white bread's not my favorite, but it did the job. Okay, all right, and then we have a quesadilla. Mm-hmm. And uh, some homemade salsa, too. Uh, now, is that just chopped up, or did you cook that at all? Uh, it's just chopped up, but it's got some of those bird's eye chili peppers in it, and so it's real good. Ah, uh, cool. The Yeah, the quesadilla, you can see it kind of, like, stuck to the edges instead of to the to each other mm -hmm. at first. And so I had to peel it off and put it back together. Okay. All right, next we have, what do we have here? Uh, on the left side is avocado toast. And something that's underneath there that you can't really see is that I actually roasted garlic. Um, and it came out really good. So there's a layer of roasted garlic underneath the avocado on the bread okay. with a soft boiled egg. Okay, all right, that looks pretty good. Now, yeah. everything so far has looked pretty good, but as I understand, not everything turns out as well as that. So what do we have here? So there's a funny story about this. So um, I bought microwave popcorn because we were trying to get a microwave in here. And then the hotel said, we won't let, a, um, let you put a microwave in here, but you can have, uh, we can heat stuff up for you. So I assumed it was in a microwave. So the first time I tried it, I sent down a pack of microwave popcorn and it came back warm and unpopped. Oh, no. so I was pretty sad. So I took what was left and I put it in some foil and I propped the iron upside down and tried popping it. And I guess I didn't give it enough air. You can see one popped kernel in the back. Sure. I think I got about four. Uh, it didn't really work. And then I tried it again and it still didn't work. So I think I've given up. Okay. That's sad. I love popcorn. I know, I do too. I'm I'm quite sad about it. I would love some popcorn. Well, hopefully soon we'll be able to make it at our own houses. Yeah. Okay, and then let's talk about what you made tonight. Uh, so this was the pasta. I was trying to make like a, initially I wanted to make like a vodka tomato sauce, um, but I didn't have much tomato. And so I just started like adding the random things that I did have, which included onions, garlic, uh, Onion, uh, some mushrooms, but they were like the Asian mushrooms, the enoki mushrooms, and it just, it was bad. Like, I didn't even eat it. How did you make the sauce? I put it in a plastic bag in the kettle. Oh, okay. All right. All yeah. right. Well, I think that's all we have for pictures for this evening. Um, Wiki has been awesome enough to put together a video uh, tour of both her kitchen and a little bit of information on the food that she has made. So we're going to share that here at the end of the video. And other than that, is there anything else that you want to share? Anything that you've learned while you have been on this journey of quarantine culinary discovery? Uh, I would say that the fact that I previously had cooked it's not like this is the first time I've ever cooked that helps but I think it is don't don't limit yourself by your tools I've learned that very much so through this that there's a lot you can do with minimal resources and it's definitely been a fun way to keep myself occupied during this quarantine well that's good to hear well 
thank you for joining us today. I'm glad you're saying same by uh, grilling some cheeses with an iron. And for everybody else's enjoyment, here we have a tour of Wiki Fresh is um, quarantine kitchen. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you all next episode. Thank you. All right. All right. Cool. That's it. Have fun. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Bye. Okay, so here's a little tour of the kitchen. You can see some wine, a tea kettle, and some plastic baggies, which are really important for the tea kettle. And then the iron doesn't look like it should be part of the kitchen, but the iron and the foil and the tissue boxes make up a significant portion of the cooking that I do. Um, and my tiny little mini fridge. So one of the ways that I cook things is with the iron. So this is not hot right now. And it's not something I'll be doing tonight. So I'll prop things up. Um, so I'll prop the iron on top of the tissue boxes upside down. And then I made some roasted garlic using this method. So this was closed and I just let it sit closed like this for probably over an hour and it came out wonderful. Uh, slice it, put it on a slice of bread. Um, literally like anything, it makes everything better. It's wonderful. Um, the other thing, I used the kettle with plastic baggies. Uh, this looks pretty disgusting right now. I don't think that's going to turn out very good. It started as being, I wanted it to be tomato sauce. Uh, didn't work out that way. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and put it on some pasta, but I don't think it's going to be very good boiled. So this one is going to be fried rice. So what I'm going to do is not prop it. I would close this up. So it's got, I, what I've been doing is lining the edge of the foil with butter. I've eaten more butter this week than I think I've ever eaten in a week. Uh, with some scallions and carrots and pre-cooked brown rice that I bought on our online grocer here in China. And so what I'll do, I cooked pad thai today this way, is I'll just iron it like this on both sides. Uh, and it always takes longer than I want it to. Everything takes longer with the iron. Iron is not a very good cooking method. I also plan on using my last piece of bread down here to make like a peanut butter banana chocolate sandwich tonight for dessert. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so. The other thing that I commonly do with the kettle and the plastic bags is I'll cook an egg in there. It's the best way to scramble an egg. So I'll cook an egg in there for that fried rice. And then the other spot I cooked an egg was in this pad thai. So I would say it's not really pad thai, but it's my version of pad thai. There's rice noodles, hot peppers, carrots, uh, sprouts, enoki mushrooms, um, garlic, onion. And then this sauce is what's on top of that pad thai. And it's made from mainly soy sauce and peanut butter, just mixed together. And just some hot peppers and onion to flavor it a little bit and garlic. And oh, I put the roasted garlic in there. Um, it was so good. Uh, this is a dish that didn't turn out quite as great. These were potatoes that I was trying to make for breakfast one morning. It, they're left over, I'll still eat them eventually. But I would say this was one I would not do again. However, I did make mashed potatoes with the kettle and those turned out pretty good. And then this one came out really good too. I, this is the second time I've made this. Um, this is for pho. So there's rice noodles underneath, the same rice noodles that were in the pad thai and carrots, onions, hot peppers, garlic, uh, sprouts, enoki mushrooms, and then I have a powdered broth and soy sauce, and then just some hot water, and it cooks the vegetables enough because they're all chopped really thinly, and it was really good. Um, I think that's everything. Okay, this is um, my attempt at sauce, and it was terrible. You can see it's literally in the trash can because it was bad. I didn't need it.